welcome to my latest video. If you haven't guessed already from the title, this is going to be a sort of demo and review of the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation, all day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Um, I bought this about two weeks ago um, and I put it in my haul, which um, went up last week and it was sort of the only expensive item and it's pretty expensive, I think it costs £32. Um, but I'm so impressed with it. Um, I'm going to show you how I apply it first and then I will sort of talk at the end about how long it lasts and things like that. The only downside that I found with this um, foundation is actually the application. It's really faffy but if you sort of give it a bit of time then it does work and it looks really nice and lasts all day. So a lot of people are applying it in different ways um, and the, pers the lady in the shop said to apply it with your hands. So I do do that to begin with but then I end up buffing it in but the way that I apply it and then set it I think is really important to making it last otherwise it ends up cakey and not so great. So this is the foundation as I said um, and I am in the colour Mont Blanc, literally white mountain. Just going to leave that there. Um, however this wasn't the lightest shade. First foundation ever where I'm not the lightest shade. Positive. So I'm going to shake it up a lot basically, just keep shaking. And then in the shop they said that one pump would put your whole, would do your whole face. Whole face? Whole face. I don't agree with that at all but that could just be me, um, I don't know, doing it wrong. Um, so I actually do three pumps. So what I do is I pump it into my hand, two, three. So you really don't need a lot, that is how much I've got. And then I, I sort of warm it up in my hand and then I put it on my face obviously but I use my hands for this and then to get all of that off I just do that and then I rub my hands together and then I use my hands to rub in the foundation to begin with and this just helps to blend that first lot in so once I've sort of blended it in a bit I then take um, the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush the brush that you use to blend it in I think is really important I tried using a stippling brush um, and the, it didn't work. Um, you need one that's sort of dense, so this one's perfect, or um, the Bold Metals um, 301 brush, um, which is a bit like this, um, same sort of shape, and um, that also works really well. Um, so make sure you're using the de a dense brush, basically. So then I just buff it in. Okay, so I've buffed it all in now, and normally what I would do is go straight in and powder. However, I don't tend to do that with this um, foundation because I like to let it set. It sounds really stupid and it makes it sound like it's quite cakey and horrible, but it's not. But I feel like if I was to powder it now, it would look cakey. Um, and I found that if I do powder it now, it does tend to look powdery and doesn't last very long. So I like to leave it set. So I'm going to do my concealer now. Um, the concealer that I have been loving um, is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, uh, which has a little pump as well, which is always good, and I put a little bit on the back of my hand. The only problem with this concealer is that um, you have to pump it out, and it actually gets quite a lot of product. I don't know if you can see, but there's quite a lot, and it's quite runny, and it's really pigmented, so I feel like I waste quite a lot of product when I use it, which is annoying. Um, and you can't really get around that because it's a pump, so you can't control how much is pumped out. I'm basically talking about a pump for like a minute. Uh, now I've done my concealer and um, I now can go back and powder my face because my foundation has to have time to you know take a moment sort itself out and um, so I'm gonna be powdering with the Maybelline matte maker mattifying powder and I've used this in a couple of videos and I love it it's my favorite powder at the moment um, it just does the job and um, so I take a bit on quite a fluffy brush this is um, a duo fiber face brush from real techniques and then I tap off the excess and then I literally just rush, rush that, brush that over my face, um, avoiding the under eye area because I do set that with a different powder. Doing it this way, um, you know, giving it the time to set makes it less cakey um, because I know some people have said that it is quite cakey, this um, foundation, but I think if you just leave it, you know, to have a breather for a couple of minutes, it does okay. And then I take my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm actually just going to use, I think, yep, um, I'm just going to use the Expert 
no miracle complexion sponge and just pat that under it looks great when it's like this I can see in my viewfinder that I just look like I have white bags lol okay and then that is all I do basically for the foundation so it's probably actually not that faffy I feel like it is just because I put it on my hands first and then work it in and um, I don't find that it works as well if I put it straight on with a brush so I'm just going to go off and do the rest of my makeup so I don't look like a pale ghost um, and then I will come back and just have a quick chat about um, sort of the colour range and things like that and how long it lasts. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've now finished doing all my makeup. I'm loving this lip combination at the moment. It is a Barry M lip liner. I'm just trying to find it. A Barry M lip liner in number five and an MUA Lux um, gloss in, well it's not gloss, it's matte, but um, Halcyon. Oh, I've used this before and not know the name. Halcyon. If any of you got this and know how to say the name, please do because I don't know how to say it unless it's Halcyon and then I do. I... Obviously the um, foundation is still on my face. Um, I just really like this foundation. I think it gives a really nice coverage and um, I've used it every day and I haven't had any sort of breakouts or anything like that. Um, and it just, it gives the full coverage but without feeling like it, um, which I really like um, and it's perfectly fine for everyday use. It lasts, I would say, about eight to ten hours um, on me with a little bit of a powder at about hour six. But apart from that, I find that it's absolutely fine throughout the whole day. Um, the shade range is pretty incredible. Um, I think I mentioned in a previous video, the reason I went to get a new foundation um, was because I just felt like none of mine were properly matching my face. And I went to number seven to their like match me service, uh, surface and they were like, service. Did I say service or surface? Anyway, and they said I was too pale. So I went to NARS because obviously they're the same price point um, but I wasn't the lightest shade so if you're fairer than me then go and check it out. I hope you found this video useful if you were thinking about getting the um, NARS luminous weightless all day everything foundation um, and if you've already got it and you're finding it a bit difficult give it a go um, applying it the way I did and you might find that it's a bit better because I applied it first the first time I got it I applied it straight onto the brush with the buffing brush and it, oh, it was a nightmare if you haven't seen the haul and um, where I got the NARS foundation then do check it out I will link it leaved up there I will leave it linked up here um, so you can go and see what else I bought. Most of it was drugstore. Um, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!